Hi, I'm Jan Rijk and welcome to Brink Designs. In this video I will show you how to assemble our paint rack dropper angle. As this is the most feature packed of our hobby tool range, this is the most complex to assemble. Having said that, it is still not a difficult build. Please note, painting handles that comes with this product will be covered in another video. Link in the description below. For this build, you will need the following tools. A narrow blade, such as a hobby knife or a carpet knife. Some good quality wood glue. A brush to apply your glue. And a surface to squirt out your glue on. I would also suggest the following tools to help you during the process. Some water, as there are several points where you will have to wait for glue to dry before continuing. Some elastic bands, especially long ones, to keep things together as glue dries. Some sandpaper or a small file to sand off areas as they need to fit together quite well. This build starts off with part 6 as parts 1 to 5 of the painting handles shown in another video. For this build it is easier to cut out the parts as you need them rather than doing all of them at once as this is a slightly more complex build. It does help to keep track of where the parts are on the different sheets. This build does have the ability to be assembled in the reverse direction other than the pictures shown either on the product itself or on the website. In order to accomplish this, start by having part 6 flipped around. Uh, most of the rest of the parts will go together in a similar fashion, such as part 7 will stay exactly the same as it is in the current video. Take note, it might be easier to glue part 9 to part 8 before gluing the rest together. It doesn't really make much of a difference as I did it the other way around, but if the parts fit a little bit tightly, you might want to do it that way around. Part number 11 is another part that you will have to reverse if you want to assemble the paint rack in a reversed configuration. Take notes with parts 12, the vertical slot has to face downwards rather than upwards, otherwise you will not be able to fit parts 13 into their slots. You might notice that in a lapse of concentration I did glue them on the wrong way, but I did save them in the end as the glue was not yet fully dry.
this point it would be a good idea to add some rubber bands to the entire product just to keep it together as the glue dries. I did do this off camera afterwards. Take note of the differences between parts 24 and 23 as well as parts 21 and 22. These differences are subtle but they are important. Ensure that you have one for each rack that you assemble as it is important for how it interfaces with both your paint bottles as well as the rest of the paint rack. When putting in the smaller paint racks you will notice that the longer tabs goes at the bottom. This helps keep the individual paint racks together when you take one out lower than the top one. Just like the other paint racks in this series you will notice there are three slots on either side. This allows you to put through tabs keeping the paint racks together making a more uniform system that you can place on your desk.